everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hello, my name is Caitlin and today I am going to be depotting this huge 45 pan revolution eyeshadow palette. Look at this bad boy, it is huge. Yeah, one of the shades broke as well in the mail, but we're just gonna ignore it. It's okay, it doesn't really matter that much. I got this for four pound on eBay, because uh, all my singles are shimmers and they're just being underutilized. So I wanted to get some mattes. So to do this, I've got my little depotting tool, which I got with my MUA palette. This is just really handy, scraping out all the shadows, getting it all out. I also have a huge Morphe magnetic palette, as you can see, trying to struggle getting it in frame, but that's okay. We've got a huge magnetic palette. We've got Juicy Lucy Pans, Panual, as Steph Lyons would say. Here we go. Um, just to press the shadows into. They are magnetic. I got them on eBay. And I actually lost my pressing tool, so I'm using a lid of a hand sanitizer. So, um, yeah. I'm using Faces by Gina's Method today, and I will walk you through it. Okay, the first shade was a little bit of a fail. I'm a bit rusty, I haven't repressed in a while, but first I'm gonna just scrape out the eyeshadow. Look how satisfying this is. Beautiful, scraping it out. Make sure to get every last bit out of that. Then I am gonna crush it up on a piece of paper, separate to what we're gonna use later on, but crushing all the little chunks out I've noticed that you don't need to get them all out completely, but obviously the more clumps that you get out, the better. And obviously this is just super satisfying, just watching this and doing this. It took me about two hours, two and a half hours to do this whole palette, but honestly, it was just a nice time. I was watching uh, The Handmaid's Tale and it was just, it was just a nice relaxing time. So here we go, still crushing. I take my time over this. Then I just dump it all into an eyeshadow pan, try to get most of it in. <laughs> then I just smooth it out with my little depotting tool, making sure that all the shadow is in the kind of edges of the pan, because if they're not in the edges of the pan, it won't stick properly. So you've really got to be careful to make sure that it is all stuck to the pan. And then using that other piece of paper, I am just gonna press it down. Now, these mattes came out a little bit wonky just because the paper that I was using wasn't smooth. So it does have indents of the paper in them, which aren't my personal preference, but you know what, it worked. I wasn't about to go all the way down to Aldi just to buy smooth paper. And there we go. We have got a smooth little pan. Okay, so now I'm just gonna speed up this whole process, really. Um, I don't do the whole palette on camera because halfway through I was like, okay, this is too much and I need to go to bed. So I did this over two days and I did like the middle of the palette off camera just because I know you guys don't wanna see this whole palette being repressed, but I, I film most of it. I film the majority of it. And at the end of this video, I will come back with the big reveal of the new singles palette. So definitely stay around for that. But I hope that this video is satisfying to you. I mean, just seeing all that crushed up eyeshadow is so satisfying to me. And yeah, definitely stay around for the big reveal at the end. And I hope you enjoy this video, guys. If you do, definitely like and subscribe. I will be doing a lot more singles content soon, I promise. But yeah, I will speak to you at the end of this video. See you soon.
so I know that that was not a very long time for you, but for me, it has been quite a journey. This is what my Revolution palette looks like now. It is completely scraped out. It is gone. You can still see the remnants of the palette, but um, there's barely, barely anything left. It is just a shell. And this is my Morphe palette. It is gonna wash me out, but this is what my palette looks like now. I do have a few shades that wouldn't fit in this palette too. So this is what we're looking like. There we go. These are the shades. So I'm really happy that I've actually got some mattes to play around with now. Obviously I have mattes in my wider collection, but like, I don't know, when like building custom palettes, which is what I love to do, I feel like I don't have that much creativity. I don't have that much choice. And now for four pounds, I, I have some creativity and I feel really happy with myself. So yeah, that is why I did this. Um, I've seen Faces by Gina, like I said, do this with pretty much all of her palettes and I just love her. So I just wanted to, you know, I'm not brave enough to depop palettes that I actually use and love. So I just bought a cheap palette and then hope for the best. <laughs> I'm really happy. I am gonna do a video organizing these by color in all of my other palettes as well. So I'm really, really excited to do that. Stick around if you would enjoy that and more singles content. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. As I said, more amazing content coming soon. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.